Good morning. Hey, there we go. That should be good. We'll start with our hands at our heart. Take a moment to come inside. Let's see, have I got this? Okay, good. Ah, set an intention for your practice. Take an inhale to go up. And an exhale to come down. Hello, everybody. We're just coming inside. Take your hands down. Now, we're going to go to the feedback position. And we're in a downward dog. Bend one knee. And bend the other. Bend one knee. And bend the other. And just notice how your body feels today. Notice how your breath feels. Notice how the mind feels. Now lift both heels at the same time and lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And you're shaking out any tension in your shoulders, in your neck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Now leave the heels down. You're spreading out your fingers like pieces of pie between them. You have a little lift in that pocket of air underneath the palm. The shoulder blades are on the back and you're not collapsed in the shoulder blades. Inhale. And on your exhale, shift until you're in a plank. Now you could be on your hands or if you prefer, you could be on your elbows and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. Now take your knees under and take the first child's pose of the day. Press your hips back. Stay there just a moment. I'm going to take off the sweatshirt. Take your child's pose. Inhaling. And then on the exhale, spread the fingers back again. Curl the toes. Go into a downward dog, and now we're going to put the left foot on the right heel and hold that calf stretch. Shake out any tension in your neck, but isolate that calf. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to lower the other foot, place that right foot on it, and hold five. Four, three, two. Now place both heels down. Take an inhale and on your exhale, shift your weight for a moment to plank. Lower your right knee down. Lift up your left arm. Open up the top half of your body, that back leg, that left leg can go a little further back. Inhale and expand the top body. The rib cage is opening. Your arm is reaching. Heart is lifting. Good. Hip flexor is opening. Breathing. You feel how you could keep opening up as you're here. Your body gets used to what you're doing and it starts opening more, it releases, it starts trusting what it can let go of. Inhale. And on your exhale, place your left hand and your left knee down and take your right foot more behind you and your right arm up and behind. So you're breathing into the top half of that body, breathing, expanding, lifting, opening. Feel that hip flexor open. Feel that arm. It's like somebody's pulling your arm. Inhale, and on the exhale, bring the hand and the knee back down and wake up the back in a cat-cow, round your back, lift your sternum, exhale, round your back, lift your sternum. So as you do this cat-cow, if you tend to be lordotic, your lower back tends to sway a little too much. You can just make sure you don't drop too much in this uh, extension one. Now, when you're ready, you're going to curl your toes to add on. Lift up your heel, your, excuse me, lift up your knees, and then continue cat-cow with the beast posture. Now you've got more strength. If that's too much, just go back to cat-cow knees down. Five, inhale, exhale, four. Good, knees are lower if you want it more challenging. Three, 
They're just still hovering over the ground, two. And then one, let your knees down. Pause here, the next posture, left leg out, right arm out, pause. That may be all you do. If you would like to add on, bend that knee and hold on with your right hand to your left foot and open up towards the sky for 10. If that's too much, just go back to the opposite arm, opposite leg reach, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower your hand and your knee. Now the other side could be right leg out, left leg out. That could be it. Or you could bend that knee and hold onto your foot. Press up, breathing, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take another inhale, and then exhale, let that knee back down, place your hands down, push back into a downward dog. Hold the down dog, or if you wanna make it a little different, you can put your elbows down and make it dolphin. Dolphin is the forearms, down dog is the hands. Choose which one you need now, heels press. Five, four, three, two, and then on the inhale, you're gonna lower your knees. We'll take our body down all the way. At this point, you're in Sphinx, belly pulls up. Now, when you're ready, your hands can press you higher. Hold that, so you're gonna relax your neck, shoulder blades down the back. You're either in Sphinx or you're in Cobra. Bhujangasana or Sphinx, hold. Seven, just let that breath help you. Six, five, four, three, the belly is lifting, two, gorgeous, and lower. Now the hands are gonna go behind your lower back. If they don't quite reach, just put them beside your hips. Lift up your arms, lift up your back, lift up your toes, lift up your knees, and then just breathe, Shalabhasana. Inhaling. Lower and switch your hands. If you were doing the interlace, you're doing the other pinky on the outside, lift up your arms, lift up your back, lift up your thighs and breathe. And lower, and then you're going to put your hands beside your hips. You can lift up your body. If you would like to make this harder, bend the knees and hold on to your feet or your ankles and then lift up. Good. Your choice. Nice. I like it. Yep. Neck is soft, whichever one you're doing. Five. Lower, we're gonna do one more of those, but if you need to take just the upper body or just the hands beside you, that's fine. Lift up when you're ready to do your, whatever your back extension is, 10. Neck is soft, whichever one you're doing. Exhale, lower down, and we're gonna take a child's pose. You can curl the toes under to stretch out those feet to stretch out those toes. Hey, Christina, come on in. Child's pose, toes curled under. Five, four, three, two, and come back to a front plank. Let your elbows be underneath your shoulders, curl the toes under, and if you need to modify, you're on the knees. Otherwise, you're on your elbows and your toes. Hold 10, nine, eight, ear in line with the shoulders, seven, Six, five, pull the pubic bone under just a little bit, Karen. Yeah, 
There you go. Two. Yep, that should feel like more abs. And on the one, I'm going to double my mat again on the side, but we're going to take a side plank. Basi Stasana. You're going to lift up and hold for 10, 9, bottom arm is vertical, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower the hip with care, and let's take the other side, take that side plank, double the mat if you need to, hold for 10, Nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, there it is. Four, three, two, lower the hip with care. Turn the body, reverse plank or reverse table. So if you're doing reverse table, your knees are bent. If you're doing reverse plank, your knees are long, but they are soft so they don't hyperextend. Good call, Ellen. I'm going to cue that here in a minute. Lift up your hips and hold. Elbows, sorry, elbows and knees are soft. Ten. Nine. Eight. You're probably seeing your toes as your focal point. Five. That way your neck's not uh, danger and your head's not tossed back carelessly. Three. Two. Inhale. And on your exhale, lower your hips. We're going to take a bound angle, which is also a great opportunity to grab a, a sip of whatever you're drinking. Feet soles together and hinge forward. Neck soft and enjoy. Good. Yep. Your shoulders are soft. This is a place where you can open up the big toe if you're feeling tight there or the pinky toe. If you have any toe tightness, this is a great place to also address that. And take five, four, Three, two, and then on the one, gently come back up, open up your legs, more like a bigger V. Legs long, take an inhale. Hands can be either on your shins or on the floor in front of you. Just let yourself go into an inner thigh. I'm going to adjust my camera slightly, but you're welcome just to stay right there. Just want to tilt it down for the view. Good, that ought to be good. Good, Karen. Yeah, that looks better. Nine. Eight, yep, inner thighs. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, take another inhale, and on your exhale, gently come up, take those feet in front of you. Now you want to make sure you have enough mat behind you that you can roll down and your back is comfortable. You have the mat. Try to take 30, one, a little bit down at a time, two. Uh, and your belly is scooping. You may, you may at this point need to take your feet a little further away. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, full body stretch. Inhale. And then exhale the hands beside your hips and take the feet on the floor. Lift and spread your toes and then curl your spine up and down five times. We did cat cow to wake up the back and this is bridge, which will also wake up the back. Articulation, you're as young as your spine. So you want to feel the low back in each of its segments. Stable. 
flexible. And then we're going to hold the hips in a in a level position. If you would like to interlace your fingers underneath your back, that's a little nice addition. Hold. Let your eyes close. Hold for 10. Nine. Just enjoy. Five. Four. Three. Two. Release the arms. Curl your spine down. Take the right ankle to the left thigh. Reach your hands through the window and either hold on to the thigh or the shin. And this is a hip opener. If you feel tight here, you've got your pillow handy so that you've got a little weights to make it easier. Good, relax. If you need to rock, you can. Nine cycles of inhale and exhale left. Letting everything else soften. You can move those feet. You can spread those toes. And when you're ready, let's take the other angle to thigh. It's going to feel so good. Let your hands reach through. Hold on and enjoy. If you need to move a little rocking left and right, you can. Your face is soft. 10 little cycles of inhale and exhale here. Your eyes are soft. Move the little ankles and spread those toes, point and flex, releasing the neck tension. Take another inhale and then either lift the right leg up and hold it in a stretch or tilt your shoulder blades off the mat and hold that in a stretch. Lift your left leg is another option, another layer. And then a final could be your big toe. You're holding on to your big toe with your two fingers, your two first fingers, your peace fingers, your left hand goes to your thigh and you hold for 10. So any one of those options, nine, belly in, eight, seven, good, six, five, that's good in the hamstring, four, three, two, Relax for a moment, and then we're going to go through the series. Either your hamstring stretching the left leg, or you're lifting up your shoulder blades in an ab crunch with that hamstring, or you're lifting and or you're lifting your right leg about six inches, and or you're taking your left two piece fingers around your left big toe, right hand on top of the thigh, belly in. Nine. And eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And lower and then take happy baby. And if you can, you're holding on to your big toes. Pull the knees on either side. Five. And then put your legs on an imaginary shelf. And stage one could be you just take a little piston movement, right, left, while your ribs stay down. If you would like to add on fingertips behind your head, rotate your shoulder to your left knee, left shoulder to your right knee, yogic bicycle. As you turn, as you rotate, look at your belly. You're pulling it in. Exhaling, good, exhaling. 
And we're gonna pull the toes back and do 20 more with control. See if you can create space between the toes. Two, three more, four, five, six, toes spreading, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 left. Feel the toes spread while you're here, heels press. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the legs in and with one hand per knee, stir your knees like you're stirring a pot. Relaxing the face, stir the other way. Bigger circles if you feel comfortable there. And then on this next one, you're either gonna put your feet in front and do a basic ab crunch series for 10, or if you would like to add on, come up to a full Devasana. Devasana is boat and hold 10. You choose, what do you need to do? You do that. Yeah, so if you can come up, 10. And if you want, Laura, you can get all the way off the ground and just balance on that little, yeah, there you go. Yeah, now you're there, <laughs> try that, 10. Not, and another option would be you just kind of touch your feet if you need a modification here in eight, seven. Cheryl, I've counted to 30, <clears> really. <laughs> you and I both know I did not get through remedial math, so this is like 108. I'm holding five, four. All the cues are just a distraction. Three, two, inhale. Now lower down, but five counts. So keep your legs up. Five, four, you're in control. Three, Two, now left leg down long, right foot is gonna lift up your booty, knee down twist. Now left hand rest on that thigh, right arm out, look to the right side, feel your shoulder stretch, feel your low back stretch, feel your shoulder, your chest, your ribs, your hip. Let your muscles go that you don't need. Let your eyes soften. Nice relaxing here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Notice how you feel. We're going to slowly come back to neutral and go to the other side. Your right leg is long. Your left foot kind of pushes your booty up in the air. Knee down twist, right hand on that knee, left arm out, looking that way, but you can close your eyes, relax your hip, relax your upper back, your lower back, your neck and shoulders. Feel your hip letting go, your back softening even more. And take another inhale. Slowly come back and you can take a full body stretch, arms overhead, legs long. Shift through your legs without bending the knees. Just shift from your back muscles. It's like you're climbing a ladder on the floor. Shift through your arms, shift through your legs. Good, inhale. And then wonderful. Now the hands are going to go beside you for a moment on the hips, the hips on the, uh, beside your hips on the floor. Now take your legs up. And this is sort of like a bicycle, but it's more circular. Sort of like yoga bicycle, but it's actually like you're pedaling. 
that's plenty for some of us. Your ribs are down. If you would like to add on a bicycle up five times, four, three, good, two. Now, when you come up, see if you want to do this trick. If you don't, just get there anyway, but watch this. You cross your ankles, you take your hands to the front, you step and jump back. Good. Hold this plank. Now, if you need to go to your elbows, you can. Otherwise, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now, side plank. And the reason I'm showing it on the hand is a couple reasons. One, if you ever do fall, you do want some wrist strength um, to catch you. But the other is I want to do Maldrasana. Left foot back. So if you want to do Maldrasana, go into half sphere. If you don't want anything to do with this, do a side plank on your elbow and hold that 10 wherever you are. Nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, beautiful, four, Yep, three, two. Now from the Maldrasana side plank, front plank, other side, side plank, your right foot could go behind you, Maldrasana, half sphere, or you could do side plank on your elbow, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and side plank, front plank for a moment, down dog. In the, anytime you need to, take a child's pose, but from down dog, I'm gonna offer the right leg up in a three-legged dog and hold. Five, four, three, two, now lower the right foot down, left leg up, three-legged dog. Your right heel gets a deep stretch on that. Five, four, yep, lengthen that back knee, three, yep, like someone's pulling it, two, and then let that left foot down. Hold that, let your shins down. If you need to, you can double up your head on the sides. We're gonna take a frog posture. Let your knees go wide. Let your big toes go towards each other. And you can put your torso down on the floor, resting. Inner thighs, having a look at you, but you might be looking down. Good, Christina. Good head relaxes. Good, Betty. That's it. Good, Laura. Thanks. Good, Karen. And just letting go. of anything if you need it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and take another inhale, and then slowly press yourself up. You can pull your knees in. And we'll take the feet on either side, which is a squat, but if you'd like to take Happy Baby instead, you can. You can press your hands together. Feel a little forearm stretch. 
And if you lift up your toes, leave your mound of your big toe down, you're gonna create a little arch, a medial arch. Keep the arch as you lower your toes. If you have any toe tightness, this is a great place to spread out the toes that tend to be tight, create space, flatten out a, a, any kind of hammer toes. It's a good place just to get them in the place you want them. Teach the fascia where we want them. You can feel your low back release. Feel your forearm stretch, lower legs. Five, four, good. Three, two, and then let one shin down. We'll take the left shin down. Your right foot's on the floor, lean into it, almost like you're gonna do a somersault. And it doesn't really matter if your right heel tends to come off the floor. Main thing is you feel a stretch back here, lower leg. So just go as far forward as you need until you feel a stretch. Any toe adjustments you need, you're doing. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, we'll take the other side, lower that, other foot up, lean into it. It's almost like your belly or your torso is adding intensity by pressing into that thigh. Let your neck soften. Release any tension in your neck. Five, four, three, two, take another inhale, terrific. And on the exhale, you might have to turn sideways on your mat like I do, and then we'll take a wide fingertip, downward facing dog, spread those legs back, Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Right and left. Both heels are lifting, both heels are lowering. Up and down. And either keep your down dog, or if you would like to take a small vinyasa, you're gonna to go to plank, and then go to up dog, inhale. Open up the chest and shoulders, and exhale, down dog. Now, if that's too much, just stick with your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, go to plank and then go into an up dog. Open the chest and shoulders. Good. Really push. Exhale. Your arms are strong, so you're never collapsing in the neck. Heels press. You feel a calf stretch. You feel a plank. You feel your abs. Press strong. Open up the chest and shoulders. Good. Wide chest. Exhale. Press back. Good, and you might pull your pubic bone under a little bit, uh, Karen, that's it, on the plank, and then plank and then up dog. Stand on your hands, open up the chest and shoulders, and let's do one more, heels press. Go into plank, go into up dog, and heel. Five, four, three, two, press back into a down dog. All right, lift up your right leg and three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, the right foot comes forward to your hands, even if you have to walk it there. Now, eventually you're just doing this little back and forth dynamic stretch. It's gonna get that right hamstring. It's gonna get that left hip flexor. You can fold your knuckles under if your wrists are at all sensitive and just enjoy moving in and out of these hips, leg stretches. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now the next time that your right knee is about 90 degrees and your back leg is long, lift up your heart and hold. Neck is soft though. 
There you go, Karen. Uh, blocks are great here. Five, four, three, two. Now you're going to pop the left foot in a couple inches closer and then straighten your right knee until you feel a hamstring stretch. It does not have to be straight for you to feel it. Steer your left hip forward, steer your right hip back. Low pyramid, feel the hamstring stretching in the right hamstring in the belly of the muscle, not the knee and not the sit bone. 10, nine, eight, Six, five, four, three, two. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, get that foot back into a down dog and just walk it out any way you need to. Just walk it out. Shake out any neck tension. When you're ready, your left leg goes up towards three-legged dog, towards the sky. Exhale your left foot towards your hands. Get it there any way you need to. Go back and forth, dynamically stretching. Inhaling. Yep, and exhaling. Good. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Notice you might be able to get a little lower in the stretches as you're here. You're not forcing anything, especially the hamstring. The next time that your left knee is about 90 degrees, lift up your heart, energize your back leg. Make sure your neck is not tense. I like the black street here, and that's right. Is lifting, breath is expanding. Good. Three. Back knee is energized, so it's not bending. Two. Now that right foot's going to come in a couple inches. You may lengthen your left knee a little bit. It doesn't have to be all this way straight. Some of you with more flexible hamstrings, it might be. Your left hip steers back, your right hip steers forward. Shake out any tension in your neck. Notice if any thoughts come across your mind and just observe them and then let them go. Just letting them float on by like clouds in the sky. You're a friendly observer to your thoughts to your emotions and you're letting the breath keep you in the present five more cycles of inhale and exhale inhale and on your exhale, let your hands down. Take your left foot back into a down dog and walk it out. Walk it out. Then let the heels press towards the floor. Hold down dog for five, four, three, two, and the knees come down. So in the hands and knees, you're going to draw the biggest circle you can with your hips. Imagine you're a poodle, you're a poodle with a big purple poodle tail, and you're drawing a large purple circle behind you. Just big circles that should get out any tension in the back that we might have missed. And circle it the other way. And this is from your pelvis. Good. Your shoulders are going to stay pretty stable. Circle your pelvis. Good. There you go. And now when you're ready, we're going to come to our shins. If you like more cushion, I do. You can double up that mat and come to your shins. If you need a sit, please help yourself. You're going to take Ustrasana, camel pose. Camel pose, uh, we're going to do a few different options, but curl the toes under is one option. 
Now, to take a very gentle one, you can just put your hands behind you and kind of squeeze your elbows together. That's great. The essence is the more important part to focus on. So this is a heart extension, chest extension, and hip extension. If you would like a second layer, you can put your left fingertips to your heel, and that could be your place with your other arm up for a count of five. Mm -hmm. And then you could switch. If you're going for the full Monty, which I see most of you have, you go to your other foot. Left your heart, chin tucks like there's a pomegranate underneath your chin. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. You're, you're careful with your neck. You're not just throwing it back. Now, if you're on one side, you can do the other ones. Otherwise, hold here for your double hand caramel. Four. Three. Heart lifts like there's a string attached to it. Two. Now, an arm out at a time like a windmill. Take a child's pose. Relax. We're going to rest here. The low back is soft. We're going to do that again. So if you think about how much you sit or your muscles are worked at hip flexion, this is opposite. This is opening up the hip flexors. Curl the toes, opening up the thoracic spine. Take your other arm up and back first and either do a five count, five count, or both hands. Tip count. Lift your heart. Like someone's pulling your heart up towards the sky, 10. Both the heels are straight up and down. You're not letting the feet fall out to the sides, eight. Seven, big breath, six, five, four, good, Ellen. Elbows are soft, three. You have changed sides if you need to, two. And then lower down and take a breather, child's pose. Inhale. and then curl back up. This is a fun little variation of camel. So you start on your shins, which this right here is called a Varasana hero. There's four quad muscles and we get the other one in a different way, but this gets three of the quads. So just that's a stretch for the three quads. Put your fingers behind you and then lift your heart. Hold, heart lifts. Good, 10, nice. If that's too far away, you just put the blocks underneath your hand. Um, if that floors, yep, yeah, there you go. Five. Lift your heart. Four. Three. Two. Yeah, try it. Exhale one. We're going to do a child's pose. And when you're child's posing, you can bend your elbows and pat yourself on the back, triceps. We're going to do that one more time. Coming up. You're in your hero, and if you want that second one, fingers behind you. And Karen, if you want blocks underneath your hands, you certainly can. Lift your heart. Ten, nine. Keep pushing up. Eight. So you're active. You're not just hanging out. You're lifting. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Now we're going to pull our booty onto the mat. Adjust your mat if you had it folded under like I did. And you can take a sip before we go down. Try to take 30 counts down. I'm going to move away from the wall because I know it's coming. So take 30, two, three, four. And if you look at your belly, your belly's pulling in. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11. Your feet might have to get further away from you. 18, 20, 27, and then 30. Now I'm gonna give you a few different things you can do for the quad stretch. The other quad that we didn't do, the rectus femoris. One is right hand to right foot on your side. Two is if you have a roller and you wanna lie on that, you can do a quad stretch with a foam roller. Three is you can do this without the foam roller and it's bridge with the right shin under. Now, I like to have a shoulder and chest opener here too. So you can, you already have it if you're holding onto your foot like you are Karen. Your palms are up if you're lying on your back. Relax your ribs towards the kit, towards the uh, floor or towards the foam roller.
Relax your eyes, relax your jaw. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now on the one, we're going to switch it up so you're either lying on your other side or you're on your roller and you're pulling your foot under, your shin under, or you're lying on your back and you're pulling it under. Either one, and then I'm going to flip the palms towards the sky if you're on your back. Ribs, pull down. Feel that quad. Four, three, two, and then on the one, if you're on the roller, take your foot out and safely exit. If you're on your side, gently come to your back and we're going to do a uh, knee down drop. So open your feet wider than your mat. Take your right inner knee down. Pick up your left ankle and place it on top. You can even take your arms overhead. Breathe low. And if it's too much for you to put your left ankle on top of that knee, then on oh, that thigh, then you can just put the right inner knee towards the floor. You don't have to add the thigh, uh, the foot healthy. 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take another inhale. Now on the exhale, that left foot goes wider than your mat. Your left inner knee drops. Your right ankle is going to gently press. Feel that top of your hip and feel the breath. Relaxing. Yeah, there you go. And five. And four. Three. Two. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, bring the feet in the on the floor in line with your sit bones. Curl your spine up. And you can link your arms overhead for the typical bridge, but with a different arm variation. Last time we had the interlaced fingers. Those of you that are full, working on the full back bend, you're welcome to take that, but otherwise you're just in this bridge. So full back bend is fingertips towards your shoulders and you press up. Take a couple more breaths here, just enjoying. I'm gonna take a look and move the screen in a little closer. Four, three, that looks good. Two, five, beautiful. Take another inhale. On your exhale, lower down. And then you're gonna gently pull your legs into your belly. You can spread the toes and roll the ankles, spread the toes, roll the ankles. Yep, take that. 
arch the foot spread inhale and as you're ready you're going to place your feet on the wall if you have one a couch will be fine if you just need to put it drape it over a roller you can do that this is helpful for circulation as well and just take a moment to rest the hands can be on the belly so that you have a kinesthetic cue to go along with diaphragmatic breathing. Inhale through the nose with your eyes closed and expand the belly underneath your hands. And let your exhale release tension from your feet and your lower legs. Inhale through the nose, expand your belly, your diaphragm. Exhale, release your knees, release your thighs. Inhale, expand, diaphragmatically breathing your belly. Exhale, relax your hips, relax your lower back. Feel your ribs drop to the floor. Take an inhale through the nose, expand your belly and relax your shoulder blades, relax your arms, relax your hands. Inhale through the nose, expand the belly, relax your jaw, your ears, feel your eyes soften, feel your scalp relax. Letting go. And then just take a moment to rest in this peaceful state of the body, of the mind, and of the breath. And notice that sense of peace when the three are union, in union, the body, the mind, the spirit. And then as you're ready, gently waken your fingers and your toes. Take your time to come up towards a seated position facing the front of the room and find a comfortable place to sit. Sukhasana is the easy posture. Now while you're here, very gently drop an ear to a shoulder. And if you would like to add on, your hand assists you. And then your arm reaches down to the floor. You should feel a trapezius, that looks really good. That's a muscle that is easily over, over contracted. So you're dropping both shoulder blades. Barely tuck the chin towards the chest on a diagonal like you're smelling a flower on your collar. Let the chin go right down the middle. You're just barely tucking until you feel a stretch. You might be able to get your chin to your chest, draw your elbows underneath to widen the scapula. The neck muscles attach all the way down to the middle of the scapula. So if you feel a neck stretch going all the way down your middle upper back, that's normal. Lift the head, take that ear to the shoulder on the other side, drop that shoulder blade, reach that arm down. You say your whole spine is long until the neck, we're just stretching the neck. Good. Good. And then go to that diagonal tilt like you're trying to smell a flower on your collar. So your levator scapula, this muscle back here, your upper trapezius. You want to tell your body how it feels to have relaxed neck muscles so that when it tightens up during the day to perceptions of stress, it earlierly, it recognizes that and it comes back to a relaxed neck position. And then lengthen your spine up. Now what you're doing is putting your ear in line with your shoulder, you're making sure you don't have a forward head syndrome. So that is ear in line with the shoulder and then just take a moment to put the hand on the heart, the other hand over that and come into a state of peace. Let your inhale, breathe in that sense of peace throughout the body infusing yourselves with that sense of calm and inner knowing and letting your exhale release any tension that doesn't serve you your neck is relaxed your face is relaxed breathing into the heart that sense of peace and inner knowing 
Releasing anything that doesn't serve you. We'll do that one more time. Peace and inner knowing. And then take a moment to visualize yourself with all your senses, imagery, the next couple of hours of your day. See yourself with that inner peace going through your task, how your posture feels, how your body feels, how it feels, how it smells, how it looks. Notice that sense of inner peace through the next couple hours of your day as you imagine and lay down the tracks to prepave your successful next few hours so that anything when it tries to knock you from your groove you can come right back to that state of inner peace and knowing whenever you're ready let your eyes come back into the room thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much so good to see everybody so good thank you guys bye loveys bye loveys bye